Okay, so, so in today's math lesson, uh, what we did was uh, take uh, area models a step further. Uh, in our example here, we're taking 27 and we're multiplying it by 36. And now if I was to start setting up an area model, I would notice that if I was to take my, my 27 here and break that up into my 20 and my 7, if I was to put a 36 up here, multiplying a 7 times 36 and then a 20 times 36, um, that poses a bit of a problem. So what, what we have to do here, or a good solution here, good fix, is to take this and split this up even further. So now I'm going to take my 36, and I'm going to break that up. I'm going to have my 30 over here and my 6 over here. And now I have four boxes to deal with. And But same thing here. So now I have 7 times 30, and the beauty of that is I have a 7 times 3, which gives me 21 with one more place value. And my next box, I have a 20 times 30. My 2 times 3 gives me 6. With two additional place values, 7 times 6 goes in this box, which is 42. And my 20 times 6 goes in this box. My last box here, 2 times 6 gives me 12, with one more place value. Uh, my final job here is to add everything up. So I have my 210 plus my 42 gives me 252. And my 600 plus my 120 gives me 720. Now I can bring it down. Add this. There's a 2. There's a 7. There's a 9 for a total of 972. Now my algorithm, let me just check here. So I have a 6 times 7 gives me 42. Let me put my numbers in the right spot here. Here's my 4. Here's my 2. My 6 times 2 gives me 12. 12 plus 4 gives me 16, and I'm done with the 1s, and I'm done with that too. Uh, 3 times 7 gives me 21. My 3 times 2 gives me 6, plus 2 gives me 8. Bring it on down, there's a 2, there's a 7, there's a 9. There they are. Okay, so that was today. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.